Hi everyone and welcome to Everyday Indian Cooking. Today I am back with one more authentic and traditional Mangalorean recipe, Atta Rasa. This recipe is pretty much similar to Mal Puha but the ingredients are altogether different. So let's quickly go through the ingredients. For this recipe you need very few ingredients. I have one cup of soaked Sona Masuri rice. You need to soak this rice for minimum 2-3 to three hours. One very ripe banana. Half teaspoon of white till or sesame seeds, quarter cup of jaggery, grated jaggery, one pinch of salt just to taste, half cup of grated coconut and around half teaspoon of whole cardamom seeds. First I'm going to blend rice, coconut and cardamom seeds. We'll make a smooth paste. You can just add little water while blending this. Just don't end up putting a lot of water. coconut cardamom seeds and some salt I'm going to add jaggery and banana later once I'm done making paste of this I forgot to mention cumin seeds I'm going to add this now you need half teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds and now again I'm going to blend this into a paste once you make the paste of coconut, rice and cardamom seeds, it's time to add jaggery and banana. And you can see I didn't make this batter very thin so just make sure that you add little water when you're blending it. Now just add jaggery and again blend this into a fine paste. Alright this batter is ready you can see I made a fine paste of all the ingredients and just make sure that you don't put a lot of water this is the thickness what we are looking for this is pretty much similar to the dosa batter and now I'm going to add the sesame seeds give it a mix and just wait till the oil gets hot then we can start frying this this oil is nice and hot now we can put back the heat to medium and with the help of spatula I'm going to pour the batter and allow this to fry Turn it and allow this to fry. It fried nicely on both sides. You can see it got nice brown color. I'm going to remove it. Strain the excess oil. to pour one more Even this one you need to fry both sides. You can see this one got puffed up a little bit. Even this one is fried nicely on both sides. Now you can remove this. This recipe is little greasy but this tastes really very good. Here I have the delicious atarasa ready. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.